guys is with Alex today and today we're talking about um more stormy conditions for the northwestern regions for the United States. Um so what I mean by stormy is more snow and more rain. Um so uh don't forget to like, subscribe and like my videos and comment anything I should improve anything on my videos. So um, let's get right into it. So right now you guys are getting hit by some decent rain, um, rain and snowfall. Um, on the coast you got some light to moderate rain showers, and and in more inland you got some mixture of rain and snow and snow. So it's pretty moderate to light snow, not heavy heavy snow. And then same for the coast, moderate to light snow. I mean, moderate to light rain. So. Um, I just wanted to look at, because your guys' is, this is your first wave, which you guys are probably getting hit by it as I speak. Um, but I wanted to go back, and you guys will be clear for a couple days, and then <clears throat> you guys are going to get more stormy conditions. And this is actually a decent wave. As it comes out, um, you can already get a look, good look of what's happening. You've got heavy, I mean, you got moderate to heavy rainfall um spread out more inland regions and right behind it you've got um light to heavy rain uh moderate to heavy rainfall in the coastal areas so and you can see you can start seeing some yellow starting to show up and right above it you can see some purples starting to show up that's indicating heavy rainfall i meant heavy snowfall sorry <clears throat> so We'll go this through, and it kind of weakens, and now it's kind of more widespread, but it's light to moderate rain. I meant uh, snow, but you can see another small wave comes through, and that's a nice little snow band. That's heavy, moderate to heavy rain, uh, snowfall, and um, in front of it, you got some moderate to, I meant, yeah, light to moderate snowfall, and in the coastal, you got some light to moderate showers, so... Let's go out one more. That kind of goes off into the east. And then you guys got a little bit break, but then you got get in return again. Light to moderate showers, some snowflakes here and there. Um, and then you can see that wave approaching. It's this one, this wave is majority of it is going to be uh, showers, no thunderstorms, especially in the middle of winter. And this is one of the northern states, so thunderstorms are really unlikely. Um, but you've got some mixed precipitation, maybe a few snowflakes, but the majority of this is going to be rain for this wave. Um, and then we go through, it kind of goes off. And then there's a big wave that comes up. You can already see it coming off. Um, the coastal areas may even get a few inches of uh, rain after this one, but it's a pretty, it's light to moderate rain. Pretty. Possibly even high, um, heavy rainfall with this. It kind of goes up and then it kind of returns, <clears throat> and now it's pretty strong. You can already see it coming on to the Washington and Oregon. You can see some yellow starting to show up. That's heavy. I mean, that's moderate to heavy rainfall. And then on the front side, you as you go more, and then you get mixed precipitation and some light to moderate snow. Oh, whoops. So go out, that goes inland, and <clears throat> you got um, a decent amount of snow starting to pop up for Washington and Oregon. Um, so that's pretty decent snow. There, That little line of snow kind of goes off in the east. So let's go out. Oh, what the? Yeah, that kind of goes out. <clears throat> and then you guys, right after that <clears throat> last wave of snow goes over, Literally a few hours after that, you have another one, which is actually a pretty strong wave that comes through. Um, you'll, you'll be able to see this right as I go through. Now, this is what we call snow squalls. And um, they're just like snow, like um, squall lines of rain, but instead there was snow. So, so it's pretty light to moderate snow. In that area, and then on the back side, as you closer to the um, Gulf, you've got some. I meant not the Gulf, uh, whatever that ocean's called on the back side, but go off that kind of goes off in the east. 
Then yet again, this is a really strong wave, and this is breeding moderate to heavy snowfall for much of the um, northwest. You've got moderate to heavy rainfall for mo pretty much all of Oregon. Then um, you got light to, to moderate snow for <clears throat> parts of Washington, parts of like north central and south central uh, Washington. And then on the coast, you got some light to moderate showers. Um, so that's a decent, and then you can see that. It's just a little bubble of purple. That's really heavy snowfall right there. Um, yet again, another little small wave comes through. Now you got light to moderate snow for um, this. Some uh, showers on the back. <clears throat> and um, another little small wave comes through. I mean, sorry, not small wave. Decent, pretty big wave. Um, now this one's going to go more pretty inland and produce some light to moderate um, snowfall for Idaho. So, <clears throat> and then you got mixed precipitation in Oregon and then some showers in Oregon. As we get closer to spring, you'll start to see that you, you guys, much of Oregon and Washington, you guys will start getting less snow and more rain because it's going to start warming up for spring. So, <clears throat> you got some lingering showers. Yet again, another wave is supposed to come through. And you can already see that on the top left of the screen. Um, you can see some yellows in there. So that's a pretty good wave right there coming down. But um, So you guys are being smashed by a bunch of waves. Now I wanted to look at the total acclimated snow... Oh, man, oh this is precipitation. Um, yeah, no, no, no. So, no, wait, never mind. Let me go to winter weather... Can I, like, click winter weather or not? Like, this isn't a stupid ad. Winter weather. Um, 10 to 1 ratio, I think it is. Yeah, okay. Okay, so, I wanted to look at, let me go back. Observations, observed snowfall. For your guys' region, I want to. This is for the. This is twenty-four hour. I want to seasonal snowfall analysis. So this is showing in inches. Yes, you're not looking at some fake chart. This is for real. How much snow you guys have been getting? Um, this is in inches. It goes from point one all the way to hundred and twenty inches, and this is just for winter it itself. So. Let's look at this. Um, much of the northwest has way above 50 inches of snowfall this winter so far. Um, you got a nice line. This is, I'm assuming this is a mountain range going through Oregon and um, <coughs> Washington. And you've got 94. It's reading 90s in that. 90 inches of snowfall. And then as you go back, you still got heavy snowfall. You really everywhere the whole northwestern is getting smashed by a lot of snowfall and look at one twenty seven point nine that's one hundred and twenty seven inches of snowfall so and that's just this winter itself so this is pretty good for winter and this is I believe this is probably more than likely above average um snowfall for your guys' region now I'm gonna look at the precipitation, observe precipitation for the coastal areas, because the coastal has been getting hit by quite a lot of, uh, um, rain, yep, you can definitely see that here, it goes from point, uh, point zero one to 15 inches of precipitation, and you can definitely see on the coast, you guys are looking at, <sighs> sorry, uh, four inches of snow, um, four inches of rain, 4.6, in. So it's pretty. That's pretty heavy. Um, that's pretty good um, precipitation. So especially that's probably above average precipitation levels also. So um, I think that's going to be it for today. I hope you're having a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like my videos and <clears throat> comment if you think I should improve anything. Have a great day.